What's up YouTube, LND here. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a bit different. Uh, today we're going to be doing somewhat of a first impressions of a game called Ukulele. Um, what I'm going to do here is talk about the things I liked, the things I didn't like, and then address some complaints that other people have had about the game, and then uh, give you my overall opinion based on only the first level, um, and whether or not I think you should buy the game. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is the visuals. And simply put, I think that this game is fucking beautiful. I did nearly cream myself when I first loaded up the game. The colors are vibrant. Um, the I love the cartoon-like look of the game while also sometimes looking like real life. The lighting is amazing. The fucking shadows are ass spanking. And this is exactly how I would expect a modern day Banjo's Kazooie game to look. Um, and that's about it for the graphics. Um, now I want to talk about the character designs, and for the most part, I didn't care for the way most of the characters looked. Uh, I think Yuka and Laylee are awesome, Yuka is cool, Laylee is cute, so that's all good. However, their personalities are quite a bit different than I expected. Um, for the most part, Yuka is okay, aside from the few times where he acted stupid and didn't know something that he should have. Um, but Laylee, to be honest, she's kind of a snob. Uh, she's somewhat rude to most of the characters, and it's not to the point where I hate her or anything. Um, I just wish they would have went for a more happy and friendly attitude for her. Uh, then there's Trouser, who is like cool, I guess. He's a snake. I like snakes. Um, I don't much care for the safari-like thing he got going on, um, but again, a snake. However, I did find his voice mumble pretty damn annoying. Um, which makes me wish that John Tron voiced him, because I doubt I would have found him annoying. Then there's Dr. Puzz. Uh, I just didn't think her character was very interesting. Uh, she looks really weird. She has like a goatee of squid dicks on her chin. It's weird. I didn't care for that. And just overall, I don't like her design. Rectro, I loved Rectro. I love his design. I love his dialogue. Uh, I love the fact that he runs a retro arcade as like a little mini game thing. That goes on and just overall I think he's one of the best designed characters in the game um, then there's Vendi while I don't care for her looks I didn't have problems with her dialogue or anything and I love the role she has with the tonics um, that improve gameplay um, the ones that you get in the first level are ones that moves that require energy take less of it and um, another one where when you're nearby like a special collectible like a pagey um it plays a noise which i believe is a whistle um so you can tell when you're close by which is pretty nice in my opinion um then there's kartos and i just again didn't find his character very interesting there's honestly not very much to say about his character um there are a few other characters that follow the player throughout the world or through the different worlds um but I'm just going to move on to the main antagonists here, uh, Capital B and Dr. Quack. Now, Dr. Quack, I don't care for his design. I mean, he's a duck head in a jar of lime jello. So there's that. I did like his voice mumble, however. And Capital B, man, he's such a disappointment as a main antagonist for this game. Uh, he's not cool. He's not scary. He's not badass, nothing. He looks like he had one too many cups of coffee. Or just did a line of crack or something. I mean, look at his eyes. Now, I know I did quite a bit of complaining there. But I want to make it a point to just because I don't like the way these characters look. Doesn't mean they are bad designs. I do appreciate that each character is unique and different. Uh, moving on from the way the characters look. Let's quickly talk about the controls and the camera. There isn't exactly much for me to say. Other than I didn't really have a problem with the controls. And I didn't find anything clunky. Aside for I think the rolling move could have been a little bit better. But it's not really even close to a problem. Um, I didn't have a problem with the camera. At least none that I didn't expect from every single game with a free moving camera. Um, now lastly I want to talk about the, la the first level boss. Rampo. Wow I hate this boss battle. It is pretty damn annoying. And the first time I fought this boss, I had no idea what to do. Um, you have to roll up the ramp to a flat area where Rampo is actually sitting. And then you have to jump up there to actually hit him. But I guess I wasn't jumping high enough. Or I wasn't jumping in the right spot or some stupid shit. 
because I could not get up there. So I figured I had to wait until later in the game for a new move before I could finally fight him, which in my opinion is not the best. Um, and again, the ramp stuff is pretty bad. During the battle, if you make it to the top and can't jump, you will be hit by a log you won't have time to react to and will fall all the way to the bottom and this will happen many times. With that, there are plenty of butterflies around to where you won't die during the battle. That's if you don't die sliding down the ramp because you will hit logs on the way down because you can't avoid them and you can't jump or slow down or anything. That's just not fun. And with that, that's it for the first level stuff. Uh, now I want to address some of the complaints from others. The first one being voice mumble and to this I don't exactly know what to say. Um, I don't feel like they did anything different with the voices in this game. Um, so I think the people who found the voices annoying or don't understand why they did it may have been the people who already didn't like voice mumble from the original Banjo-Kazooie games. Um, or people who didn't play it as they were growing up or at all. Um, I understand that the voices can be annoying, but so can the voices in Banjo-Kazooie, so... Uh, moving on, I, uh, people also had a problem with the controls, which I don't exactly understand. I didn't have any problems with the controls, and I have yet to find something that's quote-unquote clunky. Um, but I think I have a much more laid-back mind when it comes to stuff like this, um, so take that as you will. And last thing is the camera. In my opinion, I think complaining about a free-moving camera in a video game is like complaining about a baby crying. It's just going to happen. Again, with this, I'm a bit more laid back than most people probably. I also expected there to be some problems with the camera, and I personally think it could be much, much worse. Um, and with that, that's probably about it. So what's my first impression? I think this game is pretty damn good. Um, it's ex almost exactly what I expected from the game. Um, Rating-wise, I think I would stand with the current Steam rating, which is as of this recording, is about an 85%. So on a scale, I would give it between an 8 and a 9. Um, I have seen some people saying things like this game deserves a 4 out of 10. And I think that's stupid harsh. This game is a far above average. Um, and do I think you should buy this game? Yeah, I personally think you will have fun with this game. Especially if you like the Banjo-Kazooie games. Um, and that's about it for me, guys. I hope you guys decide to try out Yooka-Laylee for yourself. And if you already have, let me know what you think about the game in the comments below. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. This is much different than anything I've ever done before, so any support is much appreciated. If you would like to see more content by me, please click the subscribe button on screen. If you'd like to see some ukulele gameplay, check out my videos on the Toy Box experience. And if you want to watch something else that may be similar to ukulele, check out my let's play of the first two Crash games.